Miller and Roger Cayley pour their hearts into an Irish music session. I kind of like the feeling uh, uh, of being in a pub where there's a bunch of people who are there kind of all for the same reason. They're celebrating Irish music, they're celebrating friendship, they're, uh, they're drinking some ale and, and having good time and feeling good and just the noise and you know and then to then all of a sudden launch into a nice fiddle tune you know randy lives in east allstead roger just over the border in vermont they connected at a session in Vermont about 10 years ago, and in 2005, formed this Celtic duo, Shindy, a take on the word shindig. In doing Irish sessions, oftentimes it's called hosting, and that's, um, I was one of the hosts at that time, and always looking for another, you know, melody player, I played guitar. And uh, um, Randy seemed to be very keen on that. I started playing fiddle uh, after I graduated from college many years ago. I'm basically self-taught. I can play some melodies on the mandolin, and I can play recording on the mandolin as well. But I feel like I can color things better with the guitar. We caught up with the talented duo at the East Hill Farm in Troy, where Randy plays on weekends. Randy and Roger treated us to an impromptu show, much to the delight of the inn's guests. Roger don't need words during the performance. They have a unique way of communicating with one another. I lifted my foot and shook it a little bit. That was a signal to Roger that we're about to change to a new tune. And I don't have to say anything. He'll see that and know that we're the next one up. non-verbal, but if I hear Roger playing a particularly creative chord passage or doing something unique on the guitar that I haven't heard him do, do before or that, that kind of colors the tune in a new and, and lovely way, I'll look at him and smile and catch his eye and he'll see that, but we'll keep playing. Our interest is in a little bit older music that's been passed on for several generations, uh, mostly the instrumental music uh, that was used to accompany dancing in Ireland and in this country. Um, and jigs and reels are the, are the ones, um, the kinds of tunes that are played for that dancing, like step dancing. You've probably seen Irish step dancers. instrumental tunes. Both men write songs and sing. Happy are we all together. Happy are we one and all. May we lead a life of pleasure. May we rise and never fall. Randy also plays the piano. Oftentimes, he and Roger will play Irish fiddle tunes without the fiddle. For Randy and Roger, St. Patrick's Day is about the music that reflects a time gone by, a day that no matter where you hail from, there is a wee bit of Irish in everyone on March 17th. Ireland is the, the Emerald Isle. It's a beautiful place. It's uh, green as everywhere, lush green pastures and so forth. And it's also a place where the rural way of life, uh, farms and sheep and cows, is still very common. And for people in this country, a lot of that is gone. You know, that's that's uh, what our parents or grandparents did. And so for me, that's that's kind of 
explains maybe one of the attractions of Ireland and you know being Irish for that day you're connecting to those kinds of root rural root